Time now is 644. Two Elkhorn Elementary girls are going extra inches to support childhood cancer research. For the past three years, the West Dodge Station Elementary Children's Choir has sung at the Sammy Superhero Golo Gold event, a fundraiser to support childhood cancer. Now the two girls are going beyond singing this. The pair will shave their heads to raise money and awareness. I'm mischievous sometimes. And <laughs> Childhood best friends. I'm also really funny. Tend to be inseparable. We uh, are just best friends. Yeah, like we hang out. I live at her house. Every other day. <laughs> like we have sleepovers all the time. We go bike riding all the time. We probably have a play date every weekend. Now we have to plan what college we're going to. <laughs> and do everything together. So when Ava Fennell decided to shave her head in support of childhood cancer research. Oh, it's going to feel so good. Her bestie, Quinn Westhouse, of course said she would too. That's what I'm really excited about because I'm not doing it alone and I can have somebody from my school. The girls got the inspiration to shave their head to fundraise for Sammy Superheroes, whose mission is to raise awareness and fund life-saving research for all types of childhood cancer through their choir class at West Dodge Station Elementary. This will be our fourth year in September partnering with Sammy Superheroes where our school choir performs at their annual Glow Gold event and over the years our students eyes have been opened to the need for childhood cancer research and their passion to become a part of that um, has grown each year. 99% of cancer research is for adults and Which only 1% right. is for kids. Um, and it's not and, right. Yeah, and I don't think that kids should be taking adult treatments because it will pro probably be harder on their bodies. The girls have already raised over $5,000 for their shave event. They plan on donating their long hair to Locks of Love. We did a little thing for kids with cancer because cancer is a big thing that's probably really tough for parents to get over. And we're just doing a little favor and giving them real hair. This is a pretty drastic, bold, brave um, action that they're taking and I want to make sure that our community is supporting them through that and responding in an encouraging way. The girls say they're prepared for possible questions and stares. Um, if they did ever ask or stare, I could just say, we are girls, um, it's okay, you know. Like we're not, we don't have cancer. We we're just, fine. Yeah, we just donated it to kids with cancer, so. Because to them, a few stairs is nothing compared to the challenges kids with cancer may face. And if people with cancer can go through with, like, live life with no hair, I think we could too. Yeah, especially because ours will grow back faster. Especially because for them, it means less time doing their hair. So I'm excited to wake up in the morning and not have to do my hair. <laughs> you save like 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Ava and Quinn will have their big hair shave event next Monday, May 20th at 5.30 at the Village Point Toyota. Everyone is invited to attend. They also have a fundraising page. We'll have that link on our website, 3newsnow.com.